It's been too long since I've watched a Nick Bolton infomercial. I probably don't have to explain to you who Nick Bolton is unless you're living under a fucking rock. He's like a real Avenger, like the Captain America, but in reality. Nick Bolton is the most decorated G.I. Joe soldier actor in all of commercial history, earning himself over 5 bronze stars, 10 silver stars, and 60 purple hearts, starring in 4 commercials advertising all kinds of tactical utility devices straight out of Batman's laboratory, such as the tactical lantern, the tactical shaver, the tactical sunglasses, and what you're about to see, the magnum opus, the tactical flashlight. It doesn't matter what tactical situation you find yourself in because Nick Bolton has got you covered. He's got a gadget for any kind of tactical situation that may arise in your life. I'm sure he'll soon come out with a tactical butt plug. Everybody has a flashlight, but can your flashlight do this? Yes. Yes, it can. That's kind of the whole point of a flashlight, to shine light at something. So before we really get into the commercial, I just want to say Nick Bolton unironically has one of the most American names I've ever heard. That is so fucking patriotic. The only name more patriotic than Nick Bolton would be something like Frank Hamburger. Now I want to give a little warning here because this commercial goes pretty fucking hard. I'm giving an epilepsy warning. If you do have epilepsy, you might want to skip the next scene, like five or six seconds here. Because Nick Bolton doesn't believe in epilepsy, I suppose. If he can't taste it or fuck it, it doesn't exist to him. So it's just like a full-on strobing moment here that's just disorienting. And I imagine for epilepsy would be a problem. So just giving a warning there. They do it again, and I'll give you another warning later into the video. But just a little heads up. Well, how about this? The Bell & Howell Tactical Flashlight can. Similar to flashlights used by elite military units, the Bell & Howell Tack Light can do things no ordinary flashlight can do. I like how they hype this bad boy up. This tack light is used by the world's top soldiers with at least 5,000 confirmed kills, and then the person they show on screen is wearing a hoodie and pantyhose over his face. I also really like this idea that it's going to stop a burglary just because you shine a flashlight at somebody. Maybe it would if the burglar is really shy. But I mean, couldn't you get the same effect by using any other flashlight or even just yelling like, Hey, you're breaking into that shit over there and I'm watching you do it. This is a problem. I'm going to call the police. I don't think it's necessarily the tack light that's striking fear into their boners like, Fuck, I was going to keep breaking into this and if it was a normal flashlight, I would, but I can tell that's a, I can tell that's a tack light. I can tell from the luminous flux that that's definitely a tack light. I'm fucked. I got to get out of here. My goose is cooked. It's so bright, it can be seen up to two nautical miles away. And if that's something that goes bump in the night turns out to be someone... Spoiler alert and quick warning, they're about to use the strobe effect again like you're stuck at a fucking obnoxious nightclub, so just another epilepsy warning. Only attack light has a super bright strobe that can stun and disorient would-be attackers. Yeah, far be it for me to question the experts here like Nick Bolton, but I can't imagine a flashlight is the best tool for self-defense. Like, that strobing thing would be annoying for like one second, maybe, and then you're back to normal. It would only be effective if the burglar happens to be epileptic, or if the burglar happens to be one of the ghosts from Luigi's Mansion, and you also have a vacuum nearby to help. There's just no world where shining a flashlight at a burglar should be, like, your first means of defense. That should be something where it's like, shit, I misplaced my baseball bat with the nails in it, I can't find the shotgun, what do I have in this drawer? A flashlight, fine. And then your next thought should be, I'll try and beat them to death with the flashlight, not try and, like, fucking stun them with it because of the strobe. Like, it's just not gonna work. It's a terrible idea. Unless that flashlight has the same intensity as, like, the fucking sun, you're not gonna get anywhere with this tactic. That's, like, downright dangerous advice to try and advertise this as, like, a self-defense tool. A car battery will stop working in sub-zero temperatures, but even getting frozen in a block of ice couldn't make our tack light stop working. Oh, that is fantastic news. Wonderful. I've been looking for a flashlight that I can hibernate with in a block of ice. And it'll keep working when fully submerged in water, even 212 degree boiling water. Excellent for those tactical situations you find yourself in where you're inside a volcano and need a flashlight. This bad boy will keep on working. It's tough enough to survive getting run over by a Humvee. Try that with a regular flashlight. I don't care how indestructible this tack light claims to be, I guarantee Nick Bolton could break it in the palm of his hands with those fucking meaty, red-blooded American bear claws of his. Those fucking meat cleavers. He could crush that fucking tack light into a massive diamond just from the pure pressure of his patriotism. Compact and lightweight, it goes where you go. So you can feel safe in dark places at night 
or just have the right light for emergency situations. What else? Five preset modes. It's made of high-grade aircraft aluminum. The bulb lasts 100,000 hours. I mean, there's just nothing like it on the market today. Yeah, but there is something else like it on the market. It's called every other flashlight that has ever been made. There's nothing in this commercial that tells me that this is anything unique when it comes to flashlights. They haven't reinvented a flashlight. It just does what every other flashlight does. I, I didn't see anything here that just is wild and wacky about the tack light that makes it stand out. Unless, like, when you shine the light, it calls Nick Bolton's hotline, his direct cell phone, and he'll come and beat the ass of whoever you're shining the light of. Or, like, when you shine the light, it calls in an airstrike if you use one of its presets. But I didn't see any of that. It's just a normal flashlight. So, uh, I mean, yeah, pretty cool commercial, though. Can't get enough of Nick Bolton. That's about it. See ya.